Town, considering the, the matchup and the nature of this hero, uh, it's the Faceless Void, right? Th this is a hero that demands to be talked oh. about, who is demanding a fight right now. There's the Bosku Bashes. Might just die here. They can't break the Tombstone at all, and Bosco is going to be given to um, Army to scary. Very, very strong start. This is not the first time we're seeing... I mean, we'll see where uh, where uh, Briz... Sorry, is. what are you, you talking about? Uh, the uh, nerf to Soul Rip, the mana cost increase. Oh, this is just 30. a better build now with Decay, to be honest. Yeah, yes, I, and I agree, but I'm wondering if this has as well to do more with the meta change. Second kill here, Bosku is going to have to walk back to lane. Lead, as uh, of course uh, a certain Prophet would have already foreseen in his cards. So they, they already knew this draft was going to go well for them. That's why he did it himself. Chokam may be in some trouble down here. They have plenty more fire oh, spirits. But he gets the kill on AU as a result. Not that oh, does he? My Woo! people need me. Up the cliff I go. That was a really good sub This play. child is very fast and there are no so boots on Phoenix. Yes, and Pugna does have boots. He's also naturally a fast child. He has very long legs for murder. Chronosphere and up AU top. dies. Chronosphere on top. Gratz gets the kill onto the Earthshaker. Grants the kill to In Your Dream. On, and then there's just no way they can escape. Uh, now with the additional strength of Decay, with uh, the buffs it's received, hold that thought, Jokum mid lane. Jokum is mostly gonna die. Oh, may not, now with Yao's help. He starts the Meteor Hammer, actually hit the Phoenix with it, and the residual damage might be enough to finish off AU, who up to the higher ground he goes, doesn't matter, because the Meteor Hammer is what kills him off. Yeah. Yo wait rushed it, so he doesn't have boots yet. Um, anyway. Undyne, very good laner now, especially with Decay being more highly incentivized for you to, to spec into that more so. Uh, bottom, they are going for a life chain onto Raven. The stun's decayed and just simply killed off. What can Carl do in response? Kill down the Joker. tiny. Yeah, not bad. Tend to see like glimmer capes on maidens and on witch doctors. Uh, same exact interaction here with this Ricky Meteor Hammer. Yoe is eventually going to be able to, you know, get through this tower. Uh, from, by the way, from Fog of War. So they just, Tim's has just no idea as there's another kill top. Although, I mean, he's got some idea. Like, it's just the item allows him to stay invisible the whole time. It's very effective on Ricky. Uh, bottom lane, they caught up to the Phoenix as well. A little life drain. Happy Pugna. Life drain is broken by the Icarus dive. DB says, okay, I'll just let the blast you and the tower. They throw a tree at AU, <laughs> and the tree will finish him off as DB collects the tower gold. Yep, in style too with an auto attack, because <coughs> there's the. Right. Yeah. If heroes try and stop him, meteor hammering the tower, he's going to call on his supports. He'll fight them. But he's not actively looking to rotate to this lane, much like um, meteor uh, hammer an OD with meteor hammer. Oh, just body block. Very good. Effective. Into the meteor hammer. And that'll be the tower, basically. Oh, fortify use. Strong early, quite naturally, right? Because it's, it doesn't scale, the, you can't crit on it, stuff like this, right? Oh, Eventually, that it'll get good. Should set up for a kill on the Phoenix. He got it. Yoe taking advantage of his full uh, tricks of the trade there as Varish does die. Although at this ability to second meteor to protect the tombstone <laughs> and does hit the pango, but that's all he wants, a little bit of damage. Yeah. And oh. this kind of a play. Oh, there's so many dumb things like that. Oh, you could set up a meteor hammer here with the Avatos. Oh, heck First yeah. the smoke screen. He charges to the meteor hammer. Here he come. goes. Pango run! The meteor's coming! But he canceled it halfway through to actually add more damage to Coral. Not gonna be enough. Tricks of the trade to get more space. Coral is so close to dying, but Yahweh can't get close enough. Echo. Now Echo Slam, he gets punished. Okay. Yahweh. <laughs> Yo, wait, sorry. Thought he was going to be strong enough. Maybe fast enough. Uh, and neither was true. One of the very rare scenarios where running away from your team actually ends up incentivizing you simply because AG were not expecting oh, it, but they oh. are expecting to fight around the Tombstone. Goodbye, Tims. They had a Dagon as well, which they reveal on DB, which is what <laughs> blew up for Tims. Now going for the Phoenix next, but there's an Icarus dive available, so he's going to be fine. For now, anyway, DB giving chase. Another life drain. Oh, bye-bye, AU. Very nice. Okay, and, and I actually really like this Dagon purchase, right? Least with uh, Fire Spirits and Supernova, uh, this Tim's Shaker is really scary. You know, like, I, I do think Blacklist, if they can hold this war spot as they are, oh my goodness, he's just in Jokum. Oh my god, Jokum, what a nice toss back to stop Tim's Echo Slam. He's forced on the supports instead, and they break the egg immediately. Army Geniuses know it's oh, their fight the to take. No. And because of the BKE blind line doesn't affect them, they kill Bosku. Next time there's a Terror Blade, nice. but it comes the Rolling Thunder from Carl, hoping to destabilize this a little bit. Oh. However, TB's has been killed by Jokum. Carl is forced to TP now. They're going to lose four. Army Geniuses is the real person that can turn around the fight, right? Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. Whoa. This team is Whoa. really good. Okay. Ricky Yo, he's though, he's just breaking things around. Look, he can just blink stack to the to the low ground. He's fine. Now the Void joins him. He still has the BKB and the Aegis. I set up the Tombstone. Not committing the BKB just yet. There we go. Commits it for Tibbs. Making sure to kill him a second time consecutively. Wow. As Bosku 
falls as well. Carl's capable of rolling thundering himself to safety, but they are hunting down the Phoenix, who's also going to die. Yes, because Cottle already, he gets more spells because of Spirit Form, which also has, accounts for <laughs> time dilation slow. And then you get an extra spell in Spirit Form, right? Which also counts. Bro, uh, this poor Tibbs. Great toss back by Joking. He's playing He's playing a hell of a game. Um, but, but the other thing I wanted to mention is, for some reason, and I believe this is still the case because I saw it in this fight, uh, Bosku, if he channels Illuminate, oh my god, he's just dead on the high ground. Really? That Meteor Hammer wasn't even needed. It was just the Chariot on Aegis on Void, so... He might be able to oh, just... And, and, and a like Chrono. A, oh, He's okay. found Carl. He has. Tombstone's erected. Another Tombstone. And with Jokum, they get rid of the Earthshaker first again. Tim's no more Echo Slump for this fight either. They can get rid of the Egg as well. Carl dies in the smoke screen. Oh, Blacklist has been routed. They're flying in all directions, and none of them are as good. They just keep flying into the sun that is AG, and they force the GG G G holy from moly. Blacklist. Holy moly. What a domination from our... Yeah, he's, he's always made a name for himself on the Spirits, on being this kind of flashy hero. And I think this is the kind of lineup where he needs to do that, which is why we're, we're talking about it in this way, right? Bosku, he's, he's playing the Coddle, who's going to have him back in Greaves and eventually a Pipe of Insight. Not really a, a hero you carry games on, right, by yourself. TB can get there, but someone needs to make the space for him. And I, it is Carl's job to do that. Tim's, though, is out of space to run, and Tim's will die as In Your Dream also harasses Cook. Um, but let's let's remember that there's still a TB in this game, and unless Carl like completely solo, solo carries this game, which I believe Storm Spirit is a hero that can be done on hold that yep. thought. There is a lasso. Nope. They're gonna go a bit more aggressively. Yeah, he Careful, was nearby too. He has a lot of stacks of arcade curse now. Avalanche. Tim's throws the tree. No, not yet. He actually gets the toss off instead. And now Yoe activates the fairy fire to survive a bit longer. Magic wand as well. Bottle, but that's not going to be enough. Here's DB. Yoe gets killed. Tim's though might die as a result, but they already got the kill they were looking for as DB joins in to finish off AU. And he's so. Oh, wow. Barely made it succeed. out. Yeah, barely made it oh, out. So close. Like, or even Batrider, like, you have a really difficult TB. Radiance bottom. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, for sure. Attack. Eventually, you get Swift Blink, and that's when the matchup actually starts going a little bit more your way, but. If they get the kill on in your dream, this matchup is going to go very much to Blacklist rivalry way. Carl already showing his utility. I think they chuck a match at the creep. No, it was him. He's actually going to go bottom here now that he sees the TP. So that's where his calculus is at. He is going to concede the rune control. It does spawn top lane. It's an invis rune. But let's let's ride along. Perhaps oh, is that right? No, top lane. Not really sure about this one. They set up one shrapnel already. That's level three shrapnel. Raven down Bosco. bottom. He's being very, very slowed down. Illuminate will not help him enough. And Bosco dies his bottom. They also catch Raven. Two kills yeah. for Army Geniuses at two opposite sides of the map. Nice kill set up for the nine minute rune. This could be really good. AG, though, are going to do their best to disrupt it. And they're going to smoke the Shaker alongside their Batrider while rotating supports from the mid lane or from the top lane on over to the mid lane. This is really instrumental to trying to shut down Carl. No hookshot yet though, which means they just have to run in and cogs Tim's. Illuminate heals him back up, which means in your dream is busy with Tim still, who held out for a long time, allowed him to kill the counter kill on Barrage. Now going for Jokum next. AU, <laughs> to the best of his ability as Carl, controlled oh, the high lasso. now gets lassoed. That was a surprise, Carl, bot lightning oh. away, barely surviving, fishes and catch him. Carl's alive, assassin won't kill him. Wow. And he is going to survive this whole situation. Wow, Carl. Win to adjust. Obviously, Bat Rider uh, for BOG e first, as they do look for DB. There's a rotation coming to Bat, though. Uh, yeah, comes with a lasso, a but silenced immediately. Carl, and can this aggression. He's been Chakra Magic, but he knows. He knows Yoe is looking for this lasso. And Carl will respect Whoa. him. Flame Break into the lasso, but he avoids it with a ball lightning just in time. As AU does die, DB catches up Tim's, but DB realizes that it's not a fight for him. Yoe is continuing the aggression, committing for Bosco instead. He'll settle for the Coddle kill before he leaves. Take advantage of his time here. Yeah. They didn't do a bad job here, but Carl does the ish, right? Which is like he's, for the past few team fights, Clockwork was either not in them or didn't have level six. Sure. There it is. There we can see the hookshot. And that's going to be for a silencer, or perhaps a storm as well. Lasso in three. Global silence has been used, so no lasso just yet. And I think uh, Carl realizes that was not the fight to take. Yeah. This fight's yet over, Abba. No. Oh, in fact, Carl is the one to Here engage. Go. Once again, getting mana by the Coddle. That's going to be enough to kill the Clockwork. The lasso is going to be for Cuckoo. Oh, we didn't get him under the river. No, they didn't. He has the mech. That's not going to be sufficient. The same from the Sniper. 
And in fact, they also caught the poor silencer. Fissure is gonna get his head lopped right off. RBG doesn't want this tower. Carl does not have the help from the Caudal, so he doesn't have enough mana to re-engage. Yeah. The tower will just fall. And Raven's nearby Raven's and has meta. But played for Carl, though, not really finding too much success. Still having a good game on the Storm Spirit, I have to say. Uh, especially because this smoke looks like it'll pay off if they can catch DB. Mm, DB, run! Run for your life! Sprout forward! Just to make sure that stops someone, but it's not going to stop the storm. Very good. As you know, tr you know, trees are not very good with lightning. That's true. Clockwork is almost at D ward. As allies nearby, this could turn into a bit of a fight. Well, Carl, uh, he just got fissured and killed. Yeah, that's, that's the reveal for the Shaker. Yeah, that, that is a silencer about to be put in a spit roast. AU, what's gonna burn him? The so rocket? No. The flame break will. <laughs> just last words. That's a last ditch attempt. Yeah, it's uh, always. Uh, uh, one more wave and I'll have it if he gets caught by in your dream. Although he shouldn't. I mean, he's got a ward on him. Oh, Tim's, he's going to fight. Oh, the storm zip. Yeah, they stayed there for a really long time and the patience nice. paid off. They got in your dream as a result. Carl. Yeah, Later. he's committed for BKB though. Okay. He's got the Mithraheimer flying his way. But, but like you were saying, I'll finish the point. BKB sucks, sucks against uh, Batrider, but it does feel necessary Radiant's against the storm, uh, against uh, the clockwork as well. Yeah. Oh, yes. You are, you are, you the, are storm. the storm. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it. Gets the kill on AU. Hook shot. Ooh, misses Carl. So they can't quite set up for a second set round of kills here. Uh, and Yoe doesn't have lasso either. Maybe the clock is. You have to be a bit careful. TP is ready. We've seen the TP combo combo oh. a couple of oh. times of TP onto Treants. Okay, they're going to fall off to the Caudal. That's fine. The Caudal kill is not great. Follow the crumb of horses. No, maybe. Oh, Tim's 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 with a toss back, in comes the storm. He goes for Joe and he swallows the fissure hole. And now they keep him in place with the cogs. Oh, the no. Glaive the storm's going to die. What a nice chain of disables. It's Even if Yoe dies in exchange, it's not that bad for our RBG. The blocks. They keep However, the Raven out of the fight. If they lose DB, that would be huge here for Blacklist Rivalry. You'll get him inside his own Sprout. And your dream finally joins, hoping to even out this fight. AU will be the next target as Raven dies as an extra from Borisha's Rocket Flare. He was kind of ignored almost. Bosco also gets stuck and killed. In your dream, showing he's the true carry of this game. As the Fissure doesn't quite close in, Tins doesn't really matter though, because they have wow. vision, and that's all they need for the sniper to pew pew pew. People to commend AG though, the, the chain stun there was phenomenal, it was flawless. Recognition of the fight, not being scared of the Terror Blade or the tiny tossbacks. I mean, the confidence is all there. I also think the game plan though for Blacklist is now apparent for them, and it starts here. It's the battle air first they go for, but they get rid of this initiation, it'll be huge for Blacklist rivalry. That's battle air down, but he's just well, and Carl for now, thanks to his BKB, kind of immune to anything. However, the rest of Blacklist not so confident about this fight because they lack the TB still. The Assassinate gets the counter kill there onto the Silencer. Assassinate. But that's also what <laughs> part of the Alpine Bear set for some reason. <laughs> Tim's hook shot. Push him back, perhaps? Nope, just keep him in the cogs, yeah. in the shrapnel, in the graveyard. You don't, you don't need to push him any which way. Sniper's dream playing the old slide, you know, back yeah, in the day. Slide. This is what we consider to be funky. None of this. Uh, what, what Pop they, jamming nonsense. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Another Raven's, shrapnel Raven's for Tim. Fighting. Yeah, I think this is going to be a dead clockwork. It is. <laughs> and even with the grabber helper thing, oh. doesn't have enough reach. The BKB, oh, nice time. BKB timing in your dream. Can they kill him a second time? There's an Echo Slam. What's he waking up to? We'll Ooh. see Lasso for the storm. Global Silence, however, allows Blacklist to continue this fight. And they are Raven going to head BKB. off for the Sniper TV. Has the range now. Goodbye to this sniper in your dream. This appears. Oh, yeah. You actually have that close to you. Right. And it pushes you further. Well, they, they think it's like a rocket jumping, like in TF2. Yeah, or like a flame breaker, which is a normal analogy for this game. Yeah. But it doesn't. You actually do it on the edge of the AoE, and you catch everyone on the AoE. It's very, very good. Well, I was doing that because now they caught TF2. Bosco. Uh oh. Bosco is going to die. And this is a true old man, but the one yeah. you find on the screen, you ask him to get home. All right, and they actually were not able to get Clockwork. In the meantime, he does Hookshot away in who are kind of recovering it at this stage. Uh, but of course, Blacklist, they don't want to get drawn into a fight where they're forced to use it this early. Tim's is going to die here. Yeah, Jokam comes in just to ensure that he can't TPO away. He gets the assist gold. I do like... I, you know, okay, yes, thank you. We've just... This was the debate... Con oh, here's... The, yes, thank you for my trophy. Very good. I've won the medal. Anyway. Oh, oh, holy moly, they're just fighting. Yeah, but they took the Caudal, not the Storm, though. Global Science has been used, and Bosco will be able to survive because of the Corrida Greaves, I think. Carl, 
Still committing for the Earthshaker. At least they got rid of part of the team fight, but the Sniper stole the BKB. Not running out just yet, and Terrorblade is far away, which means Raven's gonna get pew pew to death at this rate. DB, though, is a little bit too close, and Carl, make sure to punish for him. Carl has no mana and now no HP either, but this allowed for Raven to get close to the Sniper. Now, Solar Bound, he's forced to TP away to safety. Flame Break, not wow. gonna help but at least he'll TP in time. To get back to this four staff versus glimmer cape thing, I'll, I'll bring it up because Shaker also has a glimmer. I think, oh, hold on, we're gonna fight. Yeah, we are. Catch up to the tidy. A lasso for Tim's though, and no flame to push him back. So Tim's for now is okay. Now there's the flame break. They prevent the cogs pushback, however, with a blinding light. No, they don't. In fact, the storm is now in trouble. He's getting tossed. He wasted a little bit of his BKB. He still got the kill though on Barrage. Yeah. That's that's still a really, that really good... That scared him, though. He was like, okay, got to even on this TB. I don't think they can realistically contest this, especially with the lingering threat of this Earthshaker Echo Slam, yep. which we haven't really seen too much of. No big Echo Slams. Credit to Blacklist, because they're not putting themselves in positions for it. Here they go, though. Oh! Ooh, they did not get the Aegis, but they did get the Roche. Now they stop the Storm. His BKB is going to run out soon. He gets away just in time. Carl, thinking of re-engaging, perhaps, as the TB joins as well. This and they're going to kill Duke at this rate. This fight's good. They, it is very good. In Your Dream is now stuck in the pit. Carl has enough mods. We get the electric vortex off here. He just BKBs in time. Out of the pit he goes. Carl on the runway. But wait, Yoe running after him. They have to cancel the TP with Global Silence. Impossible. Carl TPs in time. Blacklist on the Echo retreat. Slamma Jamma time. Raven. No, nope, BKB. BKB. Me though, you can't echo slam a jam this golden boy, and Yoe instead will fall. Our uh, a mana battery that he oh, has. Wait, wait, boss Koo Yoe? has already. In comes Carl, but he Meta. doesn't want to overcommit. No, and this is good. Meta is ready, but they. Oh, well, they have everything to be no, honest. They could. They could go for it. Assassinate the division over Tim's. So they come in for the lasso. Tim's will die this rig. That's buyback. It's not that important of a fight though. Gonna have significant impact, especially. As uh, well, we look at the buyback status, and it's looking well. It's looking better, but it was looking pretty dire for AG. <laughs> yeah, now it's looking good, kind of dire. Oh, oh, oh. okay, yo, way oh. might have been off more than you could chew. Oh. The Scotty's still swallowing. And Electric Vortex catches two more, and they get rid of the Earthshaker. That's the team fight gone. And the Sniper's also in trouble. Can he get some fucking raid? Maybe Hurricane Pike? He's just standing his ground. Thanks to the Satanic, he's able to live. Hooks have to get more space, but the Storm is just catching up, and that's the big enemy down. And your dream is gonna die. Nice. Carl did the uh, deed. DB is far too late. No, he's gonna have to BKB TP. It will succeed at least, but Blacklist rivalry just took the team fight of their lifetime here. I cannot believe. Still could be big though. In your dream, back in five seconds. They have control of the oh. outpost now. Okay, the time sneak gets off with four step. In comes Carl as well. He caught Yoe, but they need something else. He did refresh the electric vortex, so endless amount of stuns. But do they have the damage? Finally, TV joins, and Yoe is no, no, he's gonna die to the auto attacks. Raven Fairy just all dying. DB will be able to TP BKB. In your dream is here. In your dream has the high ground as well. Miss Sniper is camping. You gotta respect it. Okay. Toss him back. That's an interesting idea. Oh, goodness. He's dying to the evolution. Yeah, and there goes Storm. I'll take Vortex. Good force. Fair amount of damage too. He doesn't get up to the high gun. Thanks to the Vortex. He's satanic with the active. illusions. Oh. As the lasso does catch a oh. TB. Can he get Sunder off his the side? Echo. No, the stun's too strong. There we go. AG comes right back with that kill. And Sniper wants more. He no longer camping. He's he moving forward. More. He's 360. No scope in this man. Can't be stopped. Waddling his way to victory. Luckily, the rest of Blacklist Rivalry has enough mobility to get away, but this Roche... Bloodthorn. So, so a quick note as well, Tim's now has a Lotus, so there, that is going to be some okay, counterplay okay. against huge, the huge. Bat Rider. Pretty big. And if they catch Yurtshaker, even bigger. That's their team fight gone, that's the Aeon Disc already procced. And the Nurseshaker dead as well. Okay, and now it's Global Science is a freebie. Oh, oh, oh here at last hello. Though, and it got TV and his illusions for a little train. Can they kill him in time? Or can he get the Sunder off? The Global Science is helping him a lot right now. Raven gets oh, the Sunder just no. in time on Tim's. Tim's happy to die here as long as he get an avalanche onto the Sniper. But Raven is dying to DB. The Hurricane Pike pushes him in the wrong direction, and he's going to fall. Carl couldn't join as well. He's been sprouted as he's well. He's sprouted He's just dealing way too but much he's damage. Still he's you. still leashed to DB. Even if he gets pushed out of the sprout, that leash never ends for some wow. reason. Wow. One half duration right now, Avo. I'm not sure about this. Like, if, if AG can spot this, they can fight right afterwards. I hear a lasso as well. It's for a good the mid lane. One. It's Carl. Can they refresh the lasso? Nope. Global Silence just in time oh, he here. In. And the sniper could be in the trouble. Terror they force them to safety. But Electric Fortress keeps him back in as the TV gets hit with a second lasso. They need damage. TV joins as well. The TV, no thunder, no time. He is dead. Goodbye, Raven. And the pew pew continues. Tim's is now in trouble. They clean up shop. Carl ceases to exist. The silencer is just an afterthought.
Blacklist wow. rivalry had no chances here as the control of the high ground goes completely towards our army geniuses. Man, you know, you come for the king, you best not miss. Sniper just absolutely putting them down. DB making sure that there's no survivors in of the river. Raven. A Carl Rake that can just do nothing as Raven's already dead. The buyback, he can't keep into the fight fast enough. And now they're oh, finding themselves. See, the double lasso taking it for a ride. Ace for the TB. Exoslav, he got it off. Carl, though, is helping them out. Going for the two supports here. Perhaps the sniper as well. Him. They need more damage. They got control. Carl get a second the away with it's a terrible big. knockdown. But they're pushing him back. The sniper's afraid. He's and the dead. sniper's going to die in fear. However, the Terror Blade dies to DB, who's a true carry all along. What? He's went to the back lines. He's killing off the Tiny as well. Carl's trying his best, but he's out of money. He has to go and refresh. Oh. There is no oh. buyback for this DB. Oh, and there DB. is no life for Carl oh, either. Oh, GG. It's a team wipe. DB.